So it's been a minute since I last made a Rare Seas video, and that's because I've been stockpiling the news because they keep dropping like news, a little bit of news this week, then a little bit of news that week. I'm not trying to make a whole bit on like one piece of news. Obviously, I'm trying to combine them. So that's why it's been a minute, but we back. And don't get me wrong, there are a lot of good things to go over today, but at the same time, if you read the title, you know I do believe Rare Seas could be making a big mistake. And before we get into the good news, let me actually start with the bad news and what I think could be a really big mistake if they're doing what I think they could be doing. So as I'm sure a lot of you guys know, Rail Seas is going to have other game modes besides just the main RPG or the main world that they're going to have. Now, some of the game modes that were already confirmed were a ranked game mode, a crew battles game mode, and what I want to talk about today or right now is the Battlegrounds game mode that was confirmed. And you might be thinking, how exactly is a Battlegrounds game going to work in Rail Seas? Because it is an RPG game, so how exactly are the powers going to transfer? Is it going to be completely separate from the main game? And how I was personally hoping it would work is it would just be a place where you could go fight with no repercussions and essentially just fight with what you already have but in a place where there's no real penalty for dying and the reason i was hoping it would be that way is because if you're able to actually switch between the powers and whatnot and just use whatever you want that's gonna kill the incentive to actually grind the main game like why as a player am i gonna spend endless hours grinding for a fruit in the main game when i could just go and pick the fruit in battlegrounds with no type of repercussions right and that can really apply to other things like fighting styles or weapons if they are an option in battlegrounds that really gets rid of the incentive to actually grind for them in the main game if i could just go use them in battlegrounds for free and it hasn't been confirmed exactly how it's gonna work but let me actually show you guys the message which really has me thinking they could be making a mistake here they said in the battlegrounds game mode silver slash gold will get to pre-test new fruit slash abilities in game i'm gonna make a channel for perks hard to keep up with all the benefits for those that don't know silver slash gold is a subscription they have in their discord it costs five or ten dollars and basically they're saying if you buy that subscription you're gonna be able to pre-test the new fruits and abilities before they actually reach the game but you'll only be able to test them in the battlegrounds game mode and this is obviously very similar to what a lot of battlegrounds games have they have our early access game pass which essentially gives you the new thing early before the actual update comes out and that alone in my opinion isn't really that big of a deal but what it actually implies in my opinion is a big deal because if you're able to switch off your power and test out the new fruit this most likely means the battlegrounds game mode is going to be similar to something like strongest battlegrounds or really any other battlegrounds game where you're able to actually go to the drop down menu and pick pretty much any power you want now what i'm hoping is that you at least have to unlock the power first like i have to actually get the fruit or weapon before i can use it in battlegrounds and i can just switch between it there because if it straight up just works like every other battlegrounds game on the platform where you're able to just pick between whatever you want without actually having to grind for it, i promise you i promise you who is grinding the main game i mean i probably still will because i'm a content creator and obviously i want to have fun in the main game but for the most part who is really like your average player is not trying to grind if they can just go in battlegrounds and use it and if they are doing that that's what i'm saying is really a huge mistake now like i said i'm hoping that's not the case there is a chance for some reason you can just only switch if you have the membership to the new stuff but you can't switch to anything else or like i said earlier maybe you can only switch to things that you've actually unlocked in the past but if you can straight up just go there and see and use everything i'm telling you it's gonna kill exploration it's gonna kill incentive to grind the main game and me personally i think is a huge mistake so i'm hoping they're not doing that but maybe i'm tripping here so let me know in the comments if you agree with what i'm saying about the battlegrounds game mode me personally i do think it's a cool addition like i said i just think it shouldn't take away from the main game and i think it will if you can use everything there without having to actually explore the main world and whatnot but now let's actually get into the good news because we actually do have a good amount of good news so this was confirmed a while ago but i'm sure some of you guys don't know if you've seen the rail seas final teaser at the end of that teaser they did say they are working on a release date currently but they did also say on twitter that when movie 2 does drop it will announce the release date of the game so basically we're really just waiting on movie 2 and once we get movie 2 the release date is confirmed and you'll know when to exactly expect the game now they also mentioned that they've enjoyed being open with the development and open with the community instead of gatekeeping and inspiring other developers along the way as well i mean rail seas did get a ton of hype by being so open with the development of the game so i would expect to see this in other games more often or at the very least i would expect future rail games to also have this similar strategy like ninja on their new naruto game and stuff like that but we also got some new news for the soul fruit and i won't even lie to you they have been cooking with it i can't even hate if you guys remember the old vfx for rail seas and the initial gravity showcase and things like that was a lot less flashy and people didn't like that so they did say they will revamp all of the fruits and whatnot and they never showed us what the original soul fruit looked like but the new soul fruit i'm telling you they cook with the new soul fruit they only showed us this one move so far but i'm telling you this fruit is gonna have motion when the game releases you're gonna have lightning powers flame powers and soul 
powers, I'm telling you, this is gonna be nasty. It's gonna be one of the higher tier fruits, unless they somehow poet stats or something. But for me personally, Soul is probably gonna be a top five fruit I'm gonna want on release because it's gonna have, like I said, fire powers, lightning powers, and soul powers. I don't know how that's gonna be balanced. Now, they also did recently say they are revamping the Zeus Cloud. They said it just doesn't look right and they can make it look a lot better. They showed us like a rough draft of what it will look like when they revamp it. And I do see what they're saying. It does look a lot better in the revamp or the, the I guess, the rough draft of the revamp. Like, I'm gonna be so serious. The old Zeus looked like he tweaking and the new one looks a lot more similar to the actual one from the anime. But if you guys think the soul fruit is strong, you're not gonna believe what they just did to make gravity even stronger than it already looked. If you guys remember, gravity has gone through a lot of reworks. They changed the ultimate ability to have like two variants of like a big meteor and a small meteors or like multiple small meteors. And they tweaked all the VFX that look flashier. But let me show you the cutscene they just showed us and what they said it does. First of all, the cutscene is disgusting. It looks hella good. I'm not gonna lie. And if it already didn't look broken, what Railsin said below it definitely confirmed it's gonna be really strong. He said, people who say the cutscene is long, this move is a finisher. And at 20% HP, if you get hit by this hard to hit, you get knocked. So I'm a little confused what he's saying. I don't know if he's saying that when you're below 20% HP, it's gonna auto grip you or something. I mean, there is multiple ways you could interpret what he's saying here. So I'm a little confused, but regardless of how you interpret it, I'm pretty sure all of them mean the move is gonna be strong as hell. I'm pretty sure Bicento did have a move that when they were below a certain HP threshold, it would auto grip them and fling them really far away. So if it's similar to that, that's definitely pretty broken. They did say movie two is in the near future. And then obviously the release date will drop after that. So if you guys wanna stay updated and not miss that, hit the like and subscribe button. You probably think you're subscribed and you're not subscribed. And we just did hit 40K. So if you wanna subscribe before 50K, I would appreciate it. Thank y'all. Love y'all later.